Well, welcome to my latest ride out. I'm in the city centre of Dundee and we're about to go across the Tay Road Bridge. That is the Dundee Caird Hall. I've got a couple of stories to tell about that, but not today. That's for another ride. So, I'm off to a secret destination. Few rigs in today. I'm off to a secret destination in Fife. It's called Scotland's Secret Bunker. Uh, an old nuclear bunker, bunker from the Cold War that was sold off and is now a tourist attraction. It's not far from Anstruther. So let's go and have a look. Let's journey down and see what you think. Let's orientate the ride. The secret bunker is in the eastern part of Fife, which is just west of Crail and slightly north of Anstruther. I headed off from a base in Dundee, drove through some of the back roads, um, avoiding all the main towns, and ending up at the secret bunker. The reason for the location today was quite simple. If you draw a big C around Dundee and Fife, that extended from around about Angus, across the Perth, down through this part of Fife and across to Edinburgh. There was supposed to be rain all the way around, but as it turned out, as always, um, that wasn't as accurate as you would think. So, did get caught in a little bit of rain, but never mind. Uh, the day was quite windy, still quite blowy. We've had quite a lot of uh, wind and storms, uh, so apologies for any wind noise. All right, let's go and see what the ride's like. It is very windy today. We've been battered by storms, lots of wind, a bit of rain in the last few days. Friday was particularly bad. This is Monday. And the weather forecast for today isn't particularly brilliant. However, my destination was chosen on the basis that it's not due to get rain. The rain's all around us, but not where I'm going. Or up there. When I say not due to get rain, I mean a low chance of rain. But this is Scotland. One minute it's sunny, next minute it is heaving down. So, fingers crossed. I must say the roads are quiet today, which is a birthday bonus. Now this is well known for speed cameras in this area. I've seen them a couple of times, just sitting over there with the, beside the national speed limit, just over there. So if you're ever coming through. St. Michael's, just be careful. Welcome to Balmolo. I've worked here in some of these houses on the right hand side, they were built by Doherty's uh, as a young apprentice. Part of your learning, learning curve to, to Learn your trade. Thankfully, I got away from house bashing pretty quickly. House bashing was something we called uh, just doing a whole bu bunch of uh, houses to get to wire them up and get them alive. There we go. So, I've been watching some videos. Um, one of the videos that really intrigued me 
uh, which was very entertaining, heart in the mouth, <coughs> was won by Richie Vida. Um, you probably all know who that is. He, he went to the Outer Hebrides and he, um, he went in January when there was a lot of snow and uh, well the guy's got guts that's for sure I couldn't believe he left the A9 to head down Ballater and Balmoral and all of these roads before he ended up in Aberdeen well scary stuff anyway well worth a watch So the thing that brought back memories for me, I've been out, I've been out storming away and Harris and all that stuff, um, with work actually, two different companies. But anyway, the the most recent was with, uh, when I worked for a ferry company. went on a big ferry and it's still I think it's still the newest of the Calmac fleet that worked there for a long time mind you there's a bit of rain coming through that worked there for a long time um, but I got a contract um, as a project an IT project manager <coughs> when that ship was getting built and my role was to integrate the IT systems that were being built on on the ferry by the shipyard with the IT systems with the IT systems that were being installed by the shipyard. So that, I worked there for, uh, I don't know, two and a half years in total. Not all on, on the ferry, doing other projects, but um, that was certainly one of the highlights of my career working on that. That was a different environment. It, uh, I was over in Germany quite a few times in Flensburg had a great time and still IT systems at the end of the day <coughs> but it was a different environment well like I say that was a, a great experience I was all over that that ship um, the project wasn't without its challenges that's that's for sure but uh, we got there in the end. <coughs> right, this is a new road. Never been on this one before. Nice little place. Pity about the rain. No drone today, uh, just two blowy, two gale, gale force winds, not worth the chance, there's the uh, lodges and caravan park, never been on this road in my puff.
Right, I need to concentrate. <laughs> I keep looking at the scenery. What a donkey. There we go. Well, this is a lovely little road. Never been on it before, I don't think. It's not familiar. It just shows you what's in your backyard without, without you ever knowing about it. Motorbikes are brilliant for that. <coughs> well, look at all the trees that's went down here. you can see the old airfield bunkers and you can see the sign for secret bunker and here we are we're approaching the entrance to the secret bunker it's in behind all of those trees we're just down here we'll go in and we'll have a look Classified. And there it is there. So that little farm building is the entrance to a nuclear bunker. Busy today. There's the entrance. Now. <laughs> Electric chargers, brilliant. Exclusion zone. How's that, eh? Beautiful. Right, that was the secret bunker now. I'm not going to go in. It's 15 quid to go in. 
honest I've been out many many times so I will insert some pictures <coughs> of previous visits. I spent an age looking for some digital pictures but I couldn't find any so out comes the old film pictures some of them are a bit grainy but uh, they seem to be okay you get the idea. Here's the first one a bunch of equipment rooms some clocks Various bits and pieces. There's a manual telephone system, a PMBX, with all the cords to interconnect the calls. There's uh, what looks like our radar positions. There's plenty of rooms like that, and they're all pretty dark. So, hence the pictures being a bit dark and grainy. Some more telephone equipment, various bits and pieces. There's a control room. Place is pretty dark overall. And there's another one of the control room. The, the place is well worth a visit if you're up this part of the world. Very, very enjoyable. Hope you enjoyed my little run to Scotland's secret bunker. Yeah, there we go, more trees. Right, I'm off to find I'm off to find a coffee. Thanks for joining me. Bye bye.